Welcome cloud gamers as another month passes in the year 2020. And while it has been by far one of the most interesting and testing years in my lifetime, having a platform like Stadia has really helped me keep sane. So with that said, the month of March has been one of the best months for games on Stadia, but we also have a lot to look forward to in April and the rest of spring. So in this video, we're going to take a look at all the upcoming confirmed games for April and include dates as well as the games slated to come soon. So without further ado, let's get this video started. And like always, if you guys could do me the huge favor of smashing the like button, turning on that notification bell to know when my videos go live, and sub to the channel for more cloud gaming and Stadia content. And a disclaimer, as this list will change as we hear about new games coming every week to Stadia, so be sub to this channel and follow me on Twitter for live up-to-date news about games coming. Well, let's start this list in the order these games are coming out, starting with Stacks on Stacks on Stacks, coming April 1st. It's a game coming near you as a pro subscriber, a game that builds itself as a zany 3D tower builder, where you play as Master Stacker Rocket, who uses her psychic helmet to clean colorful bricks. On top of defending your towers you've built against the crazy dragons, ghosts, and hazards, the game features 36 stages, a split-screen co-op, and a versus mode. So there is quite a bit of content here to enjoy yourself or with a friend or family. Expect to see coverage of this title here soon. Moving on to the next confirmed release date, that is MotoGP. From the same makers who have brought to you Monster Energy Supercross 3 on Stadia. And as you can imagine, this is more about racetracks. This is like the grid of the motocross world, and I have to say this title looks solid. The game features graphical and technical improvements from the past MotoGP games, dedicated servers where you play online, in-depth bike management, and a fully fleshed out managerial career mode where you decide to join official riders or join a completely brand new team. The game has been set to be pre-ordered on other platforms at $49.99, so I expect that to be the price when it launches on Stadia. With that said, I personally look forward to covering this game on the channel when it finally arrives on April 23rd. Next up is a game I've joked about quite a few times, but I'm hearing a few of you might be pretty interested in a title like this during times like these and that is Monopoly arriving on April 28th, a classic family board game that has come to life on a full 3D board, featuring a miniature world where each neighborhood has its own unique identity. There is also the ability to change how the game is completely played with the rules, as well as being able to speed up the game so it doesn't take ages to finish a round with the family, and there's also the ability to play online with your friends. Now, while I might have scoffed at this title upon hearing of its arrival, I think this title might be slightly underrated, so I'm looking forward to see this at launch with Stadia and covering it here soon. But moving on to a game confirmed late spring, and that is Rock of Ages 3 Make and Break. Now, Rock of Ages 3 builds itself as a tower defense game, but honestly, it's one of the most quirky titles I've ever played and easily one of the funniest franchises I played all last year as I did get to experience Rock of Ages 2, and it was a blast. In this franchise, you guide a big rock down a crazy and wild path, and your hope is to knock out your enemy before he knocks you out with his own rock. You build traps like walls, springboards, or creatures to stop the opposing rock to get to your base and vice versa. Frankly, if you've never heard of Rock of Ages, I think this is a title that will get your attention. The humor is off the wall and reminiscent of the Monty Python classics. It also features a full map editor to share your levels and full online player versus player. I'm going to enjoy playing this one with some of you guys when I see you online on my friends list. So look for this title to drop on Stadia on June 3rd. Now with those being the confirmed titles for April and Spring with dates, we have a host of other titles with no dates, but confirmed to come extremely soon to Stadia. And I'll go in no particular order here, starting with Monster Jam Steel Titans. 
a monster truck experience come to life featuring 25 tracks, 12 stadiums, and a huge open world to go exploring in. The game also has a fleshed out career mode where you'll be racing and training your pro driver. Unfortunately, doing some research, the game doesn't have a ton of great reviews, so I'm eager to see what this game is all about, as it would be the first monster truck game I've ever played, as it comes at a nice default price of $29.99 on all other platforms. So I'll be diving into this for what I hope to be some really fun gameplay here soon. Now, Get Packed is a game I feel I've talked so much about, whether through videos like these or my live streams, this is easily one of my most personally anticipated indie titles of the year. The story here is when a greedy salt mining company takes over Ditchlington, the last ditch removals must handle a now hostile eviction. So now with you by yourself or three other players, either locally or online, your team has to work fast to relocate the entire town. The game features a campaign mode, destruction game modes, as well as four customizable playable characters across 15 locations. Now, while there hasn't been an official date for this to come, it has been hinted it would come out possibly in March, but my guess is finally we'll see it here in April. Either way, I expect this title to come soon and possibly feature a Stadia first, the crown play feature. Without a doubt, you'll be sure to be seeing me stream this and playing this one the second it drops, so stay tuned on this channel for that coverage. Next up is a title that was almost silently hinted on Twitter to come to Stadia, and that is Doom 64. Now, if you're unfamiliar with Doom 64, it is a classic title that came out back in 1997 on the Nintendo 64 that has been well revered now for decades. If you have purchased Doom Eternal on Stadia, you will be getting this free. Otherwise, the game has been listed at $4.99 on every other platform, including the consoles and PC. It's also been stated to come out this spring, so we should see this classic title here soon. Last but not least is two titles that are pretty similar, but look to be solid additions to the Stadia lineup, starting with the Turing Test a game that came out in 2016, published by Bulkhead Interactive. In the Turing test, you play as Ava Turing, who is sent to discover the disappearance of a ground crew that has gone missing in Jupiter's moon Europa. When arriving, you are met with a series of puzzles that can only be solved by fellow humans as you go on through the journey of solving this mystery. The game features the ability to harness power between machines using an energy manipulation tool and a story with multiple layers of death involving human morality and giving you, the player, the ability to help you make your own theories about the fate of the crew that went missing. While no official date has been announced for this, it is set to come sometime soon for Stadia, so I'll be looking forward to solving the game's mystery in the coming weeks. And the last title on this spring list is Relicta, a brand new title from Mighty Polygon and Raven's Court. In Relicta, you play as a top physicist stranded on a mysterious moon base in which you must find your way through a terraformed craters by bending gravity and magnetism in order to solve the puzzles needed to be safe and uncover the mysteries of a 22nd century orbital politics, as well as the secret about your daughter's life. The game features complex physical puzzles, detailed environments where each corner tells a story, as well as an original soundtrack. And while it has been no confirmed date on any platform so far, I think this is a Stadia title that brings a much needed infusion of a different type of genre missing here. So I for one am looking very much forward to testing this title and showcasing it here on the channel. But with all these titles set to come in the weeks and months ahead, you can be sure to find a game here that hopefully gets you excited, as this might be lacking the big AAA titles, but doesn't lack in diversity of genres and themes. And with still over 100 titles coming this year alone to Stadia, I can guarantee you there will be a lot more announcements for titles coming this spring alone. So let me know in the comments which titles on this list you're most excited for, 
and what you hope to see announced soon. With that said, please hit the notification bell to know about new and upcoming titles in the future and sub to the channel for more Stadia coverage. And lastly, please smash the like button to support me. Thank you guys for watching here at Cloud Gaming X and like always, I'll catch you guys in the cloud.